Hello traders, this is Hugh, and today I'm going to be reviewing the desktop version of Trade Interceptor. Um, a few weeks ago I reviewed the mobile version and I really liked it. I think it's the best mobile charting app available today, um, at least for the iPhone. So I wanted to see what the desktop version was about. I heard a few good things about it. Uh, so let's see what it can do. These are my initial impressions. Uh, first of all, when you open Trade Interceptor, you get these four windows. and uh, but they're not connected so as you can see you can move them around and if you're trading a few years ago uh, you will remember that the only free charts that were available were those Java charts and uh, these kind of this kind of reminds you of that um, and this I think this platform does run on Java so uh, the good thing about that is that it's a platform independent so you can also run these charts not only on the Mac but on Windows and on Linux so this would be a great way to get a, a cheap quote, uh, uh, not quote, but a cheap charting computer. So maybe you could get like an inexpensive computer, load Linux for free on it, and then put on Trade Interceptor, and you'll have another screen to look at. So just a thought, but that's the primary advantage of it be it running on Java. And uh, you know, I would love to get rid of Windows. I, as I blogged about before, I run Windows on VMware Fusion, and it works great. Um, but if I could get rid of Windows, that would be fantastic. So that's one of my motivations for trying this out. Anyway, let's get back to the charts. Um, so as you can see here, there are different uh, feed sources. Right now, I think they only have these four or five uh, different sources. I think they're working on getting some more. But um, I like to use the GFT feed, even though I'm trading on Wanda. Um, but the GFT one... Is my favorite so I generally use that when I'm using trade interceptor so if you double click on any of these quotes you're gonna open up a excuse me you're gonna open up um, that pair in, in one of these uh, chart windows and uh, the downfall of the Java charts was that they weren't very customizable so let's see how customizable these are um, by default they start off with these buttons here and you can directly trade off of these buttons if you want. Um, gives you the bid and a bid and ask. Uh, it also gives you the high and low, which I don't see too much use for, but uh, I guess maybe some people would. The only thing that's missing here, I think, is the spread, which would be nice to know. Now, the first thing anybody's going to want to change on a chart is are the um, the colors, right? So. Let's see what this can do as far as colors. Um, they have colored templates here. So you can, if you like their templates, you can just do a quick and dirty change here. <clears throat> or if you like, uh, let's go with this black and white. Nah. I'll go with the white template. Okay. So if you like that, then you can run with that. But you can also put in your own color preferences here and you can change everything from the crosshair to the grid to the stripes um, so very customizable really nice uh, and you can save your template as a uh, as a preset which is really nice so you can get rid of the these quotes here I've, I kind of find it annoying uh, especially because I'm not going to trade off of this chart because they don't have my broker but uh, so you can hide quotes here Ah, very nice. Then you can go full screen with it. And then you can change the number of bars that you're displaying. And the nice thing is that it's telling you how many bars it's showing you. And you can move this around also back and forth. Very nice. Um, let's see. Okay. And then you can do the standard stuff up here. Um, you can add alarms. Um, the strategy one is interesting. I, I'll have to uh, look into this more, but you can actually back test on this platform also, just like with MetaTrader. And apparently, they have a manual back testing uh, feature also, which I'm kind of interested to try out because that could possibly replace Forex Tester. I, I don't know if that's possible because Forex Tester is such a good program, but. You know, I, it's something that I definitely would look into, but that's for a later video. So just so you know that there's strategies in there that you can that you can test. 
Um, as far as adding custom indicators, I'm not too sure if that's possible or not. I'm going to have to do some research on that. But, um, you know, everything else is here. You can add arrows, um, lines, um, fibos, all that good stuff. So, um, functional charts, uh, I'm just not too sure. Whoa. Okay. Well, yeah, we're getting rid of that. Okay. Anyway, um, <laughs> functional chart. It could it could work in almost any situation. Um, the only questions that I would have are if it you can add custom indicators or not. So that's something that I'm going to look into. Um, moving on to this quotes and analytics chart here, um, you can have you can set up the quotes that you want. Uh, like I said, I really like the GFT feed, at least on Trade Interceptor. So you can come here you can add whichever quotes you want from the different quote sources and then you can also uh, remove whichever ones you want to take out like that um, there are two buttons down here I'm not too sure what they're for because when I click on them nothing happens so maybe it's a maybe it's a little glitch but um you can do advanced quotes uh, you can do the TR scanner which is their proprietary signal so um, I'm, I wouldn't be using that but uh, that's the trade risk and then you have your, new, your news feed which is good you definitely need that um, alarms which is really nice um, I really like using the alarms on my mobile phone because I can set up um, alarms that go off when a certain pair hits a, hits a certain price and you can do that on the desktop version too and as you probably saw in one of my previous posts I had a post on how to create alerts or create set things up so that MetaTrader will send you an email uh, when something happens like a price alert hits or your indicator sends a signal but if you use alarms in here and all you want to do is be alerted when price hits a certain level then this is a really easy way to do it you can just come in here and set it up so that's really nice uh, moving down here to the control panel um, if I actually had this hooked up to a broker I could look at my active trades order history um, etc etc you can register a trading account and th this, pro this software is free because if you register to them then they're the introducing broker um, which is which is fine. Um, what else? Uh, adding adding indicators. So if we'll add an indicator here, uh, they have superior and inferior indicators. So let's just try adding an alligator there, and then close. And you can see the alligator comes up. And then if you want to remove an indicator, you can just click on it, just like MetaTrader, and you can delete it. <clears throat> like so and then um, you can view the active objects also so like we put up this really messed up uh, whatever this is a GAN fan or something so um, you can go to the active objects um, oh I guess it's a, some sort of fibble retracement interesting okay so let's take that out and we'll take out this one too okay there so that got cleaned up and then, um, and that's about it for now. Um, I'm going to be delving a little deeper into this later. I just installed this, so I don't quite know the ins and outs of it yet. But um, yeah, the things that I, I'm excited to see are the back testing function and if you can add custom indicators or not. I think that would be really helpful. And if you could do those two things and manually back test, actually, then um, I think this would be a killer, killer platform. So keep an eye out for future uh, videos about Trade Interceptor because I'm going to be using it along with uh, MetaTrader and um, we'll see how it goes. So thanks for watching and I hope this was helpful.